What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hermit Chunk Challenge and thank you for joining me today. And you know what? Actually, thank you very much for joining me today. I don't say it often enough, I guess, on the episodes, not every episode at least, but I really do appreciate you guys all coming along, smashing the thumbs up button, making constructive comments and all that sort of stuff. I'm really lucky to have such an awesome community here and especially one that's watching the Hermit Chunk Challenge. And for anybody that's new, listen, up on the top right, go watch that video and don't stop until you're back here. That way you're going to catch up on all the stories and all the stuff and you'll know what I'm doing. Previously on the Hermit Chunk Challenge. Rabbit, the verdict is unanimous. You have been found guilty of murder with intent. You are hereby sentenced to hang over the void at His Majesty's pleasure. It seems like Sir Kevin here has now decreed that Rabbit is making the place look unsightly and shall be banished from the chunk. Okay, Rabbit's in the boat. All right, well, adios, Rabbit. Cow Rabbit, goodbye. Exiled to the far lands, Rabbit drifted aimlessly in the wooden boat. As days went by, the wind, rain, and weather turned its fur to a dusty brown. But they were all deceived, for Rabbit had another plan. Okay, so today we have got a lot of preparation to do because we may have somebody giving us some help with the Ender Dragon. So that means I'm going to have to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of fishing because we need gear and I've got nothing on this gear here. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of cleaning up, getting rid of some of this, these experiments that I've been making here, getting this place looking, you know, reasonably nice and also doing a, a lot of fishing. Basically, I'm going to need at least protection three on everything for myself and possibly our guest and I need that because we're going to go and fight the ender dragon. I'm going to add an extra chest to here and uh, that will then let me fish. I'm going to have to do a few hours on this thing. I've got, uh, I pulled out in the last fishing exercise, I pulled out a heap of fishing rods. I've got lure, luck of the sea, would be nice to have mending. You guys have seen this, you turn it on, you put your fishing thing in and uh, basically you just, you just sit here and you AFK. Uh, and then every time you catch a fish like that, you catch it and then it just automatically goes in here. So I'm going to get all the things happening and do some of that. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, bridging out with some slabs. Uh, given where this chunk is and where I think the iron portal will spawn. Okay, so it should be uh, pretty much around here. And I will just finish this off. Actually go and get some more half slabs. And last thing is we need it those obsidian there get rid of that that should set it up properly I think Okay, guys, after a fairly non-eventful and epic AFK session on the uh, fish farm there, I've managed to get almost everything I need. So, 
basically what I'm packing is a whole bunch of Protection 3 stuff. I've got Cupid, uh, which is my uh, Infinity Bow there, which should do well. And with the sword, I've just got Sharpness and whatever else came off the Enchanting books. Bit of a backup sword there. Uh, got a spare chest. Uh, you know, that's a few buckets of water. That's uh, pretty much what we need. Uh, for our guest, we've got the same Protection 3, although I did get a uh, Feather Falling. And uh, only one. Man, I, I went through so many uh, fishing rods and only got one Feather Falling book. It was nuts. Uh, so we just got Protection 3 on those, some backup gear here, and obviously the honourable task of the Eye of Enders, which I've traded for. That was quite straightforward. I could have used uh, some Blaze Rod, Blaze Powder, whatever, and made them, but I got them from our villager, our librarian, or whatever it was. Uh, so we're pretty well equipped. That's for our guest. We're good to go. It's going to be noon soon, so I've got a few other things to tidy up, and then the big arrival. What a beautiful day on the Hermitcraft server, and look at that over there. She's been pranked. There's pranks been going on yet again, always with the pranks. Look at that. I can't wake up and there's not a prank somewhere on the server. But anyway, let me check my mail. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Chop shop's now open. Sweet. I've got to leave in a little bit of sample. Sample. I'll take that. I'll take that. But what's it in this book here? Hi there, Faults. I was hoping you could join me for a dragon fight. If you can, that'd be awesome. Use a standard iron portal at noon. Your skills will be invaluable. Kind regards, Snow Crash. Awesome, man. Okay, that sounds good. We'll go and help him with that. So, I guess if I'm building a spooky iron portal, I should probably head out into the forest. Don't want to be doing it near here. Don't want anything bad to come through it. So, let's maybe head out into the forest and go and build that when I've grabbed my materials. This looks like a pretty good spot to build the portal. Nothing too nearby. So, let's make this a really big portal one two, three, four, make it five by five, and make it have iron, and we should be good, the time is noon, let's check, yep, definitely noon, let's hop down, and then let's light this thing up, and go through, and hopefully help the snow crash out with the dragon fight, let's go. With skills far beyond that of normal mortals, some say she's not even human and that Mo Yang created her to test players in PvP and UHC competitions. <laughs> I'm only joking guys, would you please give a big warm welcome to the delightful, dangerous and very human False Symmetry. Hello! Sorry, I was glitched in the portal. How are you doing? Doing very well, thanks. Um, I don't want to try to. I don't want to try to cross your path there, but I. I do. I. It, I am a little bit nervous about this. Uh, this portal. Uh, I just don't want any riffraff coming through. Make it nice and safe. Close that up for the moment. Thank you for. Uh, thank you for joining me here on the Hermit Chunk. No problem. Thank you for the invite. My pleasure, and uh, you, I, I did mention why I wanted you here. It was a dragon fight, and mm -hmm. uh, yep, you, you, I'm ready to roll. I, I know you're a very modest person, but you're pretty good with the bow, aren't you? <laughs> uh, average, average, average. Say. Well, mm -hmm. let me just say your your rep. That's not what other people think. <laughs> um, and guys, yeah. I, I say I da trick them in UHCs. <laughs> exactly, uh, and guys, I say dangerous mm -hmm. for a very good reason. Okay. Fall down there if I can help it. He's up here still. <laughs> <laughs> I got overkill. That was ten hearts of damage. Oh my god, that was the best. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. GG. Um, up there, you've got uh, Sir Kevin. He's the uh, Grand Supreme Controller of the Chunk. And his personal awesome. assistant, Belinda. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? <laughs> you're here for a reason. I know you're a busy person, so uh, let's let's get into this uh, into this dragon fight. So here's uh, let's here's, do it. here's your chest. Um, Ooh, what we've got. It's now, a fancy we, chest you got there. Yeah, we we're going to use uh, guys. We're going to use iron armor because I was. Uh, it, it's a big effort to get the diamonds. We don't have a lot of diamonds here. 
and uh and I've got some backup stuff there at the bottom for you, a chest. Can you think of anything mm-hmm. else that you might need? I've got some ender pearls Food. as well. Uh, you should have some. <laughs> do you have any? Oh, over here in the kebab shop, you'll see a little chest just here where it's okay. facing. And uh, cool. just there. That's, that's our latest some- farm. That Down there, that's all automatic. So that, that's automatic meat, all meats. And uh, it just co- yeah it cooks them for you. And so what happens I need, is... I need myself one of those. <laughs> so mm-hmm. uh, you've got all the stuff. Do you want to grab the backup stuff and bring it with us and then we'll put it in a chest? Can do. If there's somewhere safe to put it, then yes. Now, ex- where are you grabbing that? Can you explain to me the uh, water? I don't understand why we need water when we go to the So, end. yeah, I said water was good. Basically, the dragon can throw you up into the air. And sometimes it's not a problem if it's not too far. I see we've got feather falling on our boots. No. So you, we might well, be okay, let me just but explain. sometimes... I'll just explain that. Okay. You've got feather Go falling. Ahead. I don't. Because uh. um, the only way we... because Do you we want don't to swap? No, no, no. You're going up the <laughs> things. Um, the reason why you've got... The reason why you've got feather falling and I haven't is because we don't have any paper here, so we don't have enchanting. The only way ah. we can get enchanting is from fishing. And trust me, oh, okay. I mean, fishing is fun, It's, it's yeah, but it's just it a very, a though, very yeah. slow process to get exactly what you want. Anyway, we did get one feather mm-hmm. falling over here. Uh, you've got it. So the water, just uh, carry on. So well, when you're flying through the air, what? Yeah, so basically if, you tr- if you're chucked up in the air, you try and land and place a water bucket underneath you before you actually die. <laughs> Uh, that sounds Basically. that sounds ludicrously which is impossible. difficult. It's actually quite difficult. Yeah, <laughs> what, holding what? down right click apparently works better. Wouldn't so maybe it, try that. Wouldn't it be better just to throw a pearl? You can do, but you can't guarantee that's going to land. No, the pearl doesn't go as fast than you as can. yeah. Yeah, you could throw the pearl You'd have to sideways. Still aim it straight down. You could throw it yeah. sideways at a pillar. So let's get into awesome. it. Come with me into the Nether, and uh, we'll do it. Awesome. Let's go. Careful on the stairs on the way down. Okay. Oh, um, it this, goes this, down quite this, a way. Yeah, I didn't this, realize. Ch- this chunk was hollowed out for its materials. And uh, uh-huh. I, I'm going to address that right now, guys. And I don't think I did in the last episode. Um, all of you guys have been saying build a cobblestone generator, build it. I don't need to. I've hollowed out two chunks and it's around mm. it's around 20,000 uh, stones. So I, I haven't needed a cobblestone generator. I don't need one. If I ever did, they're very easy to make um, because false. A lot of people have said make one and, and they don't realize that I've just mined out uh-huh. a lot of stuff. Yeah. So that, that, that looks like a, as much as you've used. So where do we want to keep our stuff? Do, did we want to sleep here? All right. Well, you find some space and uh, yep, set, you, set yourself up and your chest and well, you can do the honors. Um, put the eyeballs in <laughs> whatever they are okay i will do one oh, so before two, you finish before three. so what do we do when, yep. when we get in there <laughs> the dragon might see us he might attack straight away uh he might but i think we should be safe for a little bit all right okay we should be able to plan our our, our way of going about it maybe all yeah right, let's do it he doesn't attack you straight away it's not like he flies at you but i don't know maybe he will maybe he'll be angry oh there we go. All right. Well, uh, I'm closer to the server, figuratively speaking, so I'll go through mm-hmm. first. Uh, guys, the chunks will all load in and they'll be brand new, so this world will be loading for the first time. So through I go. Okay. What's it like? Uh, safe as houses. Come in. We're in a... Safe? In Good. a hole. I assume it can't, see, box, it can't yeah. <laughs> see you, can you? Can it? It can get you underground, I though. So. I thought it can. As can. soon as as soon yeah. as you get the health bar, it will it will come through underground and hit you. I thought. Um, now, so yeah. which we don't know which direction we're going really. I Why? don't know. I was just going to dig that way. <laughs> no, just dig straight just up. Dig it up? shouldn't be that deep. Oh, I was you just can dig, dig up straight oh, wow. up. I'm going to build okay. a staircase just so no, we can get just back saying, out. I again. just I just thought the roof would only be one or two deep, but. No, you're usually a little bit further underneath. Okay, so I the idea is literally... Oh, Ooh. there you go. <laughs> there he is. That scared me so much. <laughs> okay. But at I least he, do, he doesn't break uh, end rock or whatever it's called. He doesn't He doesn't break that or obsidian, so you're okay. Okay. Oh, okay. And you've already, uh, you've already upset the Apparently. locals. Okay, I'll pick up the water and we should be okay. And now we can take him out. <laughs> Safer. I don't like the sweep attack. That's really... 
troubling in 1.9 because you can end up hitting mm. your friends. All right, now stop. You can a little bit. I'm going to. I got a hit in. I'm also getting hit up in the sky a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so if you shoot the ones that don't have cages, I'm going to go up to the cages and break them open, and then All when right. I get down, you can shoot them. All right, one's down. And you get an attack. Are you good? I haven't. Oh. Uh, no, I'm good. Are you good? Good, good. Yep, for the moment. I got another. Sweet. I'm going to come down the ladders and bring them with me. My bow skills have got a lot to be... Oh, what's... Oh, the dragon breath is nasty. Yeah, don't stand in it if you see a puddle of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what am I getting hit by? What was that? Is that you? Did you shoot me? No. <laughs> I see how it is. There we go, got that one. Oh, you beat me to it. Yeah, hit him with the sword. Slip says okay, you, get them, get, you get them in the butt cloaca. Yep. I know you can. You do exactly that. You're in charge of that. <laughs> you have to Doesn't... get nice and close to him. Oh. Come on, ladders. You've got this. I think he's charging. He's healing or something? He might be a little. I think I got uh, that one. Oh, I see what you mean. Have, have you. Have no, he's, he's, he's trying to get me with. What am I getting hit by? I think, oh, you know what? I think my potion particles are off and I can't see the, uh, the dragon breath. <laughs> I think I might end up standing in the puddles. <laughs> Probably not. If you want some ladders, I can chuck you some if you haven't got enough. Got it. <laughs> okay. Got it. Nice. Yeah. So is there anything left? That might be all of them. Let's watch him for a bit. Oh, here we, here we go. go. I, think we're, I think we're good as gold here. We've got some, we've got some damage now. That's it. Punch him. Get him. Oh, he's nearly on half health already. Nice. Okay. Uh... Oh no, an enderman seen me. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I haven't had any enderman problems yet. Yeah, I'm in, okay at in the, the buckler Laker, it's the most vulnerable spot apparently. It is. He can't. He can't hit you straight up in the air if you do that. Whoa. That's it, Gebs, no. Oh, he turned around, he didn't like you very much. He saw what you, where you were hitting him. Around, mister. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was spamming the, you know, the... Oh, he's gone. This is it. And the noises are just awesome. Go get all the XP then. I want to see how much you get. <laughs> I got 18 I've got levels one on me. Oh, that'd oh. be right. Get oh. killed. Get killed by an Enderman. <laughs> Don't get <laughs> killed by the Enderman. I can take him out if you need to. Run away. Run away. You got him. Nice. Some of it's probably fallen through to the spawn. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, that well, went pretty well. That, that, that went really well. Hard to be hilarious when you're killing an ender dragon <laughs> with, <laughs> with limited resources. But, but it's, it's so concentrated. Yeah, even, you've got to concentrate. Now we can, at least can get home. Okay, it's gone. The uh, dragon's yeah. breath is gone. Um, cool. And you've got the egg there as well. Yeah, which so I have no you, idea what the egg does. Yeah, so, oh, so you're not an eggologist. So how do I get it? No, you've got to push it with I a piston or something. Break, break oh, let That's it fall on a torch or something. But it's sitting Maybe. on... Maybe. You, you, you can't help yourself looking at these guys, can you? You know where that Enderman went? No, he, he ran straight, into the end pool, yeah, though. Yeah, <laughs> straight through to spawn. He's waiting for you when you go through. Let's go back. Should we, and, should we hop uh, back through, yeah? Yep, yeah, we'll do it. There we go, guys. Look awesome. at that. And here comes the story. Now you've got to see it through the end credits. <laughs> nah, I can escape. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Mr. Enderman's over here. Hey, friend. Yep. Oh, there's all there's some balls that have fallen through. Mm -hmm. I didn't know XP came through. Oh, that's good that the actual so. respawn is just here. Did you know that you can use that end portal to duplicate, like, items, like sand and the egg? You might have seen on Azuma's uh, latest yeah. video. I think, I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen it, but I, I've heard it. Let's have a look. Oh, that was only, that was 
like 12 minutes or something easy i can i can fit that and other things into an episode <laughs> you, you you and your long episodes yeah i know right <laughs> no, i'm not doing they're, they're, they're shorter now but truth be told you're surrounded by the technology at it's like, it's <laughs> yeah like, this is this is basically what i do on hermitcraft i go oh that's a cool mob farm i have no idea how it works but yeah. great i'm glad it's there it's really helpful <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Uh, your portal's ready. Thank you very much, False. It's Sweet. been an absolute no honour to have you here. It's made it's made the dragon fight almost pleasurable <laughs> and a very efficient. Yeah, it was good fun. It was good fun. Very efficient. So thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, good luck on Hermitcraft. And uh, guys, awesome. I Thanks, will man. be definitely leaving a link uh, on the screen and in the description below. Go check out False Symmetry. She's a great builder, a great PvP, -er, and just a great person. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. I'll right. catch you later, man. See you later.